Hey, laugh. How y'all doing today? Hey, laugh. I just wanted to tell all, no, it's a couple of things, several things I want to say today. First of all, I'm thanking God for his grace and mercy. I'm thanking God for each and every one of you. I'm thanking God for God being God all, all by God's self. I want y'all to know when things, when you pray about something, and we say we believe in God, right? But God, we have a tendency of worrying about it. If you're going to pray about it, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry, worry about it. Give it to God. Let God fight your battles. Hey, y'all, JFK. J for Justice for Kanika Angels. I love y'all. I promise y'all I do. Let God fight y'all battles. I'm telling y'all about God's grace and mercy. Baby, I tell you. Our God is awesome. Our God is awesome. Things might not go the way that we would want it to go. Or we think we, how fast we, 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 we figure it should go. But guess what? I promise you, God working it out. Without a shadow, shadow of a doubt. I love y'all. And I want cancer patients. Warriors, I shall, I shall say. Excuse me, y'all. We not no patience. We warriors. I want y'all to keep on believing. See, you know what makes cancer defeat us? Because I was there. I was there. I gave in to it. I will never ever forget. I told my kids when I first found out. I said, forget this. They ain't finna take my titties. Excuse me, y'all. If I'm not talking right for y'all, I would never talk right to please man. I'm pleasing God. For God, I live. For God, and, and for God, I will die. I said, I ain't finna let them take off my titties because there's women. I'm talking to us women. Or, oh, you know, no disrespect to nobody because I love each and every one of us. As a little girl growing up, we sit, boy, we can't get a little bum. We get a little measle bumble and we got titties. You can't tell, because I remember when I told my daddy, Daddy, my titties growing. My daddy started laughing. He said, <laughs> you better go get you some eggshells and rubber bands. Mm. <laughs> I cried, I cried, I cried. <laughs> that was funny. But back to when I found out, I was, you know, I had this cancer thing, right? First, we're going to a denial stage. Because we figure it can't happen to us. All our lives, we figure we try to do good. We try to do, you know, please make everybody happy. Do good things in your life. We ain't never said once we trying to be perfect. Because I ain't perfect. And guess what? God didn't even ask us to be perfect. But. I told my kids. I told my mama. The state was crying. They said, no. Nah. They said, you got to fight so I, I got away from my selfish ways. And I stopped thinking about me and my life. And I thought about my strengths of my life. And I thank God. I took away my selfish ways. And I'm here today. It's a whole lot of people that found out afterwards, before. You know what I'm saying? They can't. And Lord, my heart goes out to the family members. But for the ones that still standing, that still here with this cancer. And I'm not trying to say and tell nobody business, but I have several inboxes. And, and we, we, they're also cancer warriors. I want y'all to keep on keeping on. We say we trust and we believe in God, right? <laughs> See... When it comes to trust and believing in God, right? Sometimes we have trials and tribulations that we must endure and we must encounter. In order for us to get through, I heard 
heard some people say, I backslid. I thank God for all our backslides. Because our backslides is what makes us who we are. What makes us who we are? Sometimes we challenge with these backslides. How much more? How much would it take for you to curse God? How much? We say we love him because of not only cancer, but all our illness. Not only that, but all our, 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 our deaths amongst our family members. Amen. That's right, Mama T. How much would it take? Facts. And then once we go through, in order to get through, you can't yourself in a position where you, you, you allow yourself to stay down. Get up. Get up. The only time you stay down alone is when you say every knee must bow and every mouth must confess. <laughs> Asking God for forgiveness. Asking God to keep on loving us. When we forget sometimes how to love ourselves and our neighbors. I promise y'all, I love y'all. It hurted like hell when they took my baby. Oh, my Ooh, just think. I had my surgery August the 16th, right? For all of y'all say, oh, I can't do this, I can't do it. We tried by faith. Eight days after that, another situation went on. And before then, my job, it was taken away. When I say a female virgin of Job, y'all study that. Study Job. And Mama T some of the things. is Only a true soldier. Was I wasn't. And nobody so can tell me different. Do whatever y'all are saying, feel whatever, but guess what? I love y'all. Through it all. Then here come my baby. Y'all saw me running out that hotel. And when I ran out that hotel, I can't remember nothing. Only thing I could do is run and drop to my knees. Because mm. I knew I needed some help. And I knew could no man, no woman, no nothing. Help me. I ran out that hotel and I dropped to my knees. And I told my God, but God. Allegedly, Kanika walked in that freezer by herself. Allegedly, 
J for K. We shouldn't even be having a guess. It should have been an open and shut case. Facts. I saw that camera. Me and my daughter, we pointed at that camera. Mm. They saw that camera. Camera. I pointed it out to them. They turned around and looked with a quick look. Mm -hmm. And I said, did that camera work? And they told me out their mouths. They don't know. Because allegedly they told me in the beginning it was only one camera. They saw can nigga walk in that back. Mm -mm -mm. But as I'm pointing y'all, that wasn't the camera over the freezer when y'all saw me point. That was probably like the second or third camera that I pointed to. Wow. The camera that was over that freezer, it was behind that wall right in front of the freezer, as I tell y'all. Oh, Trust me. Well, not when I say one ran right off the wall. When you walk into the fridge, you can see it if you look up. But if you're not paying attention, you can possibly. I love y'all. But you can see it. I saw it. Mm. But God. When God tell y'all something, obedience is better than a sacrifice. Allow God to use y'all. Don't worry about what nobody say. Don't worry about what nobody say. Because see. When it's all said and done, I'm not living for this earthly world. <laughs> my destiny is heaven. Whenever my time comes, I want my daddy to say, Child, <laughs> we have done. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. With, the, with these illness, you got to have faith. See, with these illness, we allow it because I, I was once there. See, I can't talk about it if I wasn't there. I'm still going through, y'all. I'm still going through. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'll be 45, y'all. With God's grace and mercy. With God's grace and mercy. With me not knowing how to do nothing but trust God. For God I live and for God I die. I'm not trying to make the non-believers believe it. But I'm telling y'all, there is a God. There is a God. For those who have ears, let them hear. And for those of you who don't, I pray that one day a wise men will learn. But a fool would never. Mm -hmm. I pray one day, one day, one day, I'm going to end this, but before I end, I want to tell y'all, please, whatever, whatever's going on, bills do, don't know where it's going to come from, but it's okay, keep trusting God. Your woman or your man, I'm sorry, your husband and your wife or whatever. I'm sorry, no disrespect. However y'all got it, whatever y'all, I, I love it. I, I'm supporting it truthfully, honestly. Y'all having relationship issues. Stop going to tell the next man. Because one thing I learned from my mistakes, Fact. and I ain't going to see my lessons, I shall say. A person to give you a wise word or oh, what they wouldn't do. Oh, what they, they ain't going to do. Oh, make you feel like the biggest damn fool in the world. But guess what? They will do that and some more too. Follow your heart. <clears throat> I'm not saying keep it to yourself because you're going to have to find somebody. Somebody that you can trust. And you can confide yourself in. Because it's good to talk. Trust me. I talk. Sometimes I talk somebody ears off. <laughs> Oh. Talk, talk about it. But when it comes to your love life, follow your own heart. Cause that next person ain't in there. You know, uh, us humans have a tendency. We be too scared to tell the good things what a person do for us. But lo oh, and behold, let some bad stuff come along. Here we go. And do you know what that mf -er did? And she did this. Oh, that B ain't nothing. You know, for the ones that use them words. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Been that done it. But it ain't worth it. It's not worth it. 
Because you don't have to force nobody to love you. Love comes naturally. That's one of the reasons Jesus died on that cross for us. With his blood. Pray for him. I dare you if you're going through any issues. Pray for him. And then, before, you know, before we start pointing the fingers, question yourself. Look within yourself and see, what is you doing different? You can't stop doing the things that you once did, excuse me, y'all, that you once did to make this relationship pop. You got to keep on. You got to keep on. Whatever it takes, be adventurous with it. Don't sit up here. Oh, he ain't doing that. Well, what you or she ain't doing that. What you to stop doing? Because trust me, every action brings upon a reaction. First, fix within. Once you fix within, I promise you, 99% out of...